Hello everyone, welcome to this third body DIY tutorial. Today we're setting electronics and motors. Servo motors, so it's really easy. The nuts are already inserted in the metal parts, so we just have to screw the servo motor as shown. Just pay attention to the servo's orientation, it has to be oriented like this. Same for the blue servo, make sure it's well oriented, insert it and just screw. Make the wire go through this plastic collar so that it won't touch the wheels. Motors, everything you need is on screen, so first you need to put them onto the motorboard. Please make sure you put the right motor at the right place because there's a right motor and a left motor. Time to properly insert the motors, so put 4 screws and 4 rubber washers and insert it like that. At the bottom, rubber washer, metal o-ring and stop nut. It's very important that you do not screw too tight. The washers are here to absorb the motor's pressure. From this perspective, you can see the order. Rubber, metal o-ring and nut. Now clip your file room into the frame. With this metal piece, you attach the frame and the fire room with each other, as shown. This is Baddy's power button, you just have to clip it in this hole. Set up! So that's the tools you need, a pair of pliers, Allen key, screwdriver, you get your PCB, your LED square, you get those cables as well, a battery, and a baddie. So let's start by unscrewing the part connectors on the PCB. Unscrew to the max so that you can insert easily all the power connectors, all the power wires. Let's start with the battery power connectors. So you shall have a red wire like this. You shall insert it in the last connector and screw. It shall be tight enough. You shall have another wire, another cable that you shall plug in the third connector. And you see it's written down on the PCB, it's indicated. So usually ground is made of black color and screw that in order to tighten everything. Let's insert the battery. So you see that in this latest um, metal parts version, we do not have the front panel anymore, but we do have this uh, little holes on which we'll fix the LED square. Once done, you shall insert the charging wire into the dedicated hole on the frame and maintain it using a plastic collar. So you may use different holes into the metal structure to pass the plastic collar through which will enable to fix the charging wire to the frame. That's the LED square. You shall insert the wires on the pin headers. You may have different colors. Insert the LED square right here and use the small screws contained in your electronic parcel. And then you're gonna use the nil stop nuts to maintain everything. Nil stop is important because um, 
it prevents from unscrewing when uh, even when the motors do create some vibrations so you need to use a pair of pliers and an island key to screw and tighten everything okay stowing the wire so it basically goes and has a battery and shall go to the rear because that's where the PCB will be located so let's take care of the left ESC using again a plastic collar that's way right ESC so you see you got power connectors and as well they come on wire it shall go to the left direction into the box between the fire room and the motors and what you shall do is fix the right ESC on the frame using a collar again so these are power connectors big black and red wires from USCs. So take your PCB or electronic board and connect it on a dedicated port. So you should really pay attention to um, connecting it really properly otherwise you may shortcut your board and damage everything. So we'll make a recap and a checkup at the end of the tutorial to make sure you got everything wired up properly. So it shall insert into the dedicated pod, and then you have to you have to screw to to fix and tighten up everything. This step is important because body has some vibrations, so you need to make sure uh, it's not going to move. Right, check up phase. So three red wires on the left, three black wires on the right. Take the other side and then plug the pod connectors on the switch. Don't plug the battery yet. Wait, we need to secure all the wiring before. Okay, you got all your wires ready. Now you can fix the PCB on the frame. So you may use the longer screws that are contained into your electronics box and insert it into the holes as shown. Once you're done, just take the other side and insert the spacers, plastic spacers, usually made of black color, and then Put your PCB and it shall match with the two mounting holes on the PCB. Once you're done, use the needle stop nut and then you will be able to screw everything using the pair of pliers and Allen key driver. Like this. Here we go. So, stow your wires a little bit, and it will be time to plug the common connectors. So let's start with the the left ESC common wire. So pay attention to the indication written on the PCB. GND stands for ground, and it's the black wire. Same thing with uh, the right ESC, black stands for ground, so plug it this way, yeah, exactly. Same thing with a retainer servo, retainer servo is the servo at the upper position on the fire room, 
plug it right there and brown color stands for uh, ground GND switch or trigger servo will be plugged this way again brown stands for ground right let's take care of the LED square or LED display remind the color code so brown red orange yellow green it will be wired this way following the same order brown red orange yellow green that's very important it's gonna make your LED display work or not so store the wires a bit and let's have a look at um, the battery again so make sure it's turned off and then plug the battery okay you may store the wires again keep a low level to prevent them to touch the wheels that's very important now let's switch your battery on if you succeed to have the beeps and the smiley it's great you can go to the next step if not recheck your wiring congratulations let's go to the next step